I'm meteorologist Nicole Mitchell with your national forecast on our weather threats for today. As we look across the country, before I get too much into that national forecast and what's going on right now, I do want to mention that in the Gulf of Mexico, well southward into the Bay of Campeche, we are looking at a little disturbance, tropical, slight potential for tropical development, although pretty low, but it could eventually migrate northward. So it's something that we're going to watch as we get into later this week and the weekend, just in case it has any impacts on the Gulf Coast. Otherwise, what we've got going on right now, one system impacting the East Coast that's going to have very heavy rain. So cities like New York, we could see over two inches of rain with this. And then the West Coast coming in, this is going to drop a lot of temperatures that are running above average right now. And as it moves uh, across the northern tier of the country, could bring some snow to a few areas. As we continue and look at what these are doing to winds, the two fronts, the two bigger systems are, are windy spots. So Seattle could easily gust to 30 miles per hour today. And a lot of the East Coast uh, breezy, if not winds gusting 20 or 30 miles per hour. That is also going to be a concern, a little bit of a breeze, not as windy, for portions of Colorado, Utah, kind of in this area, because we have some fire concerns. Denver is at 78 degrees, which sounds lovely, but it's going to continue to dry things out, so that is going to add to fire concerns as well. Uh, behind that front that's now on the East Coast really cooled things down. Minneapolis and Chicago, about 10 degrees or more below average behind that. But I was mentioning some of those contrasts with temperatures. So that Denver temperature was 13 degrees above average. That's adding to that fire risk that we have today for a good portion of Colorado. And then later today, that fire risk is going to add about noon today into parts of Utah.